how to add music to canva website hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can add a music player to your canva website it is very simple and all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will see that uh, it is very easy and you will not face any problem. The first thing that you have to do is you go to canva.com and you have to set up the website. If you don't have already a website, all you have to do is to go to the search bar right here and type website simply and you will be guided to the website designs and also the templates that you can create from scratch or you can go ahead and customize whatever template that you can choose for example. Now for my case, I have created a website already. As you can see right here, this is my website. I'm going to visit it. This is a website as you can consider or you can consider it also a, um, a welcome page or a, a product page. Here, I am going to let you see the trick that I am going to use. Right here, we have to use the elf site website. For those who doesn't know what is ElfSite, ElfSite is uh, a website widget creator without coding. It is very simple to create widgets using this website. Now for the ElfSite, I am going to ElfSite.com, then I will click on widgets. Then all I have to do is to choose uh, the widget that I, that I am going to create, which is under the audio category. We have right here four options, the audio player, the background music, the podcast player, or the radio player. For our case, I am going to use the audio player. I will click on it and it will take me to this platform, which has the editor of the widget. Now you can see that uh, we have multiple templates or uh, a lot of uh, templates that you can choose from. For example, music playlist. This is the previewer. You can see right here, this is the mobile version and this is the desktop version. You can have the inline audio player. You can get the single track player or the new album player. You can have the audiobook, the meditation and ambience. And here we have the nader sounds. I am going to use one of these. Let's go ahead and use this uh, meditation and ambience. It looks like it is um, aesthetics and very simple to use. It will not disturb the uh, vision of the uh, clients or the visitors of the website. I will click on continue with this template. You can right here put the tracks. You can see here uh, there are some tracks that I am not going to use, but I am going to use my own track. Here I am going to browse my file, then I will upload my file right here. I will wait for it to upload, then I will proceed to the next step, which is the customization of this widget. And now after my track have been uploaded, I am going to delete those musics right here. These songs, I don't need them. Also this and I will go to the layout. I click on the layout. You can see we have two uh, options. We have the floating option and also we have the embed option. I'm going to put it as a floating. The position I can use one of the position. You can put it top left, top right, bottom center, uh, bottom left, bottom right. This is the, I'm going to uh, put it as the top left for or the top right. I'm going to use this as a top right or the bottom right. It is a very effective. You can modify the width of the uh, of the widget. I am going to put it for example the half of the size 160 or let's go with uh, for example 300 like this. It is very uh, good and small to use. You can put a minimize button you can put the minimize button. You can also minimize it by default. You can also put the close button if you want to, your clients or your visitors to close up the uh, player. When to show again, here you can put it right here when it is preferably when the next load. Now let's go to the player. You can put the controls. 
the volume, the playlist, the loop, the shuffle and the progress bar which is this. For the player info to display we have the image, you can put the image, you can put the title, you also you can put the artist. Now you can also save the playing track and progress right here for this uh, timeline. You can also shuffle by default, you can put the uh, volume, I'm going to put it not that loud, I'm going to put it as 20%. I am going to choose 20%, the repeat, I am going to repeat the track and let it on autoplay. This is it. And then I will pause it right here. Now I will go to the style. You can put right here, we have the color scheme, you can put it on light, you can put it for dark or you can put it for custom. For the custom you can put a image, right here we have we can put it as transparent, color or image. I am going to, for example, I want to replace this image. I am going to choose another image and replace it with it. Let's go with this image, for example. And you can also modify the background image overlay, the text color, the accent color and the font. When you have put everything in order, all you have to do is to click simply on add to website. Here it is the pretzel that I have uh, downloaded from Pexels. Click on add to website and you will see right here the code that they will give you so you can put it right here. I am going to pause it. This is the preview of it and click on publish. Right here we have the plan. I am going to select the free plan. And as you can see, we have the embed code, we have the share link, and we have the request installation. I am for Canva, I am going to use share link, copy link, go back to the website, then I will insert a text box, I will let it as it is, and all I have to do is to click on this link. Then I will paste the link right here, it is not copied. I will click on this, then go back right here and paste it. And we have here the link, click on done for the first time. And the second one on the display mode, all you have to do is to click on embed. And we will wait for the player right here. As you can see, we have the player. I can put it wherever I want. For example, let's put it right here. And all you have to do is to publish on the website. I am going to click on publish website. I will wait for a little moment to the modification will be set up and the music player will be right here. Then I will visit my website to see the magic. Right now we have the, the website and also we have the player which has the song. As you can hear right now, the song is playing right now. You can pause it and you can modify the volume and if you have put some tracks right here, you can change them right away put something you ha you can pause it and you can for example move the timeline and everything you can also close it and you will be good to go that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you on the next one